Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So uh, today we're gonna work on the cover of the sewing, for the sewing journal. There's this little pieces of like glue stuff on here. <laughs> so I keep taking those off. What I'm gonna do first is um, just paint over this with acrylic paint. I just wanted you to see um, that I'm just using a cereal box. I've just cut it down to size. The great part about the cereal boxes and things like that, cracker boxes, whatever, is they have the built-in spine already. So that is super helpful. I just wanna paint over it. I think what I'm gonna put over it is gonna cover it fine, but I don't wanna see like maybe some of the red or you don't know, sometimes you might see the writing, something like that. So that's why I'm painting over it. And I'm just using white acrylic paint. You can use gesso or, you know, whatever you wanna use. It doesn't matter. It's just to cover up um, the images on here so that hopefully you don't see them on your cover because that wouldn't be very fun, would it? So I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a pretty good day other than I did have to go to the DMV and that always puts me in a foul mood. So yeah, two hours. I mean, I know two hours isn't that bad, but it just, our DMV just gets busier and busier. It seems like it's crazy. I am gonna kind of hit the sides a little bit. I'm probably gonna cover them. I haven't totally, I mean, I, I know what I'm gonna put on it, but I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do it yet. But um, yeah, so I'm just gonna hit the sides a little bit just in case any part shows, it will, you know, be the white rather than that cardboard color. Yeah, so definitely don't rule out boxes of, you know, food container, that kind of thing. Um, I mean, there's some food containers I wouldn't use just because of uh, sanitary kind of stuff. But, um, you know, cereal boxes, cracker boxes, that kind of stuff are great. And they usually have some kind of liner, so it's not like the food's actually touching the box anyway. So that's good, too. Plus, this will just give some added strength to, like, the folds, you know, on the box itself. You don't have to do this step if you have something that you know is going to cover um, up the words and everything really well, then you don't have to do it, but I think it is kind of a good step to do. Just because, like I said, you don't want, you know, to see something. And then also the added strength is always a benefit when we're opening and closing things. Yeah, so we just, um, just been doing stuff around here since that's what we're all doing, right? Um, my son is gonna go back to school, like full time, They're, they've decided to open up the high school. So all the kids will go all the days again just like they used to so that's good that we're in a spot we can do that hallelujah i mean i kind of liked him being off and, and i liked that he got his job and was liking doing that i kind of wish that he could keep doing that that way but it's just good to kind of get life back to normal we went to his band concert last night and that was very good they did excellent he said they weren't doing very good, but man, they sure did good last night. So that was fun to go watch again. It was weird. <laughs> we haven't gone to anything all year, really. I mean, watch stuff, you know, through Zoom or whatever. Okay, this is already getting kind of tacky, so I'm not going to keep messing with it. I just wanted the main stuff to get covered up here and it is going to probably curl a little bit so I'll have to mess with it afterwards but when we glue other things to the other side um, that will help that that just doesn't want to cover see that's the whole thing right there is I don't want to see those words through my through the paper I'm going to use A little thicker there. I 
But yeah, I'm sure like a gesso or something would probably work better, but I just don't have any. Keep meaning to get some and I just forget until I go to do something like this. And then I'm like, that would be a good thing to have. <clears throat> okay, but I think it's gonna help for sure to at least make that not as obvious. Sometimes if you go this way and that way, it helps too. To get those all covered. Probably gonna have to use the heat gun to get this dry so we can get it done today. <laughs> That'll either make the bowing better or worse. Usually worse. Okay. A little more over here. And on that heart that I didn't want to see. So I know this isn't um, super exciting, but I have had people want to do like a start to finish type thing. And so I'm kind of trying to do that with this. I mean, there's some things that I know I'll be doing off camera just because of time. And, um, you know, I've got a lot of other projects we've been working on. So I may not get every single thing on there, but I was trying to hit, you know, some of the more important points. All right, so I'm going to let that dry, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back, and it is dry. Well, I mean, it feels a little cool still, but, you know, it's not, like, coming off on my hands or anything. And then over here I have, this is tacky glue. I had some old tacky glues that were, like, super thick, you know. I don't know if you know, but, like, sometimes it just gets very thick when it's older. So I just added water and mixed it, and as you can see, I have enough for, like, probably five books. <laughs> but it just... I need to use up this tacky glue and that was the only way I could think of doing it. So I'm going to put that down and we're going to put down some of this um, sewing pattern instructions that was in this old sewing pattern from the 50s. And then I'm going to put this like as the cover, but I just want this as the background and we'll do other stuff too. That's not like all I'm going to do, but um, that's just kind of my starting point. So it has these nice sides here. So I think I'm going to pretty much just try to get it on here so that I can fold over a little bit and um, let's see you know, so I can cover my edges and all that. So I will be covering the edges. I wasn't sure if I was gonna have enough to be able to do that. So I'm happy to see that I do. So that is the plan. I like this inside part too. And I was gonna use that cause it's really cool, but it has this super dark part and I just don't really like that. So I think I'm gonna go with that other side. Um, a lot of it's gonna get covered and stuff anyway. So I'm not that worried about, I just wanna have that background. So we're gonna go ahead and get that down. I should actually just do, let me just do kind of one section at a time here is the smarter way to do it. Cause then you don't end up, um, you know, hopefully gluing it sideways or something, which I have done. These little squeegee thingies are real super cool. Just nice for putting on a lighter layer than normal. And they move it around pretty good while well, this is pretty thin down too. You could use a uh, matte medium, um, Mod Podge, whatever. This is just, I love tacky glue. For me, it works the best for covers and stuff, I think. And that's just my opinion. That's just what I like, but you use what you like. I will probably put matte medium over the top because um, there's some shine in that pattern it was the little pouch you know that the pattern comes in and I don't want it shiny so I'll probably be doing that so now I'm just going to do this last little takeaway here and get the parts where there's too much off put this 
the spine, I guess, since it's since I already got so much of it. Okay, you really want to get those edges. And this is old pattern paper or pattern instruction, so this might be interesting, <laughs> to say the least. So I'm going to kind of try and get mainly, I do want to go over the top a little bit. I'm trying to just think how to do this. It probably would be better to turn it over, but um, I'm not sure if I can do that very well. Oh yeah, I got a long way still. Oh, come on you. This is just a drop, yeah, that's good. A drop cloth from my husband's work <laughs> that they use in surgery and so they work great for art as well. Just kind of pulling to try to get it as straight as I possibly can. Like I said, this is old old paper which we know just comes apart very easily. I'd rather have this stick to itself. Sorry, I've done all kinds of projects on this, as you can probably tell. I just don't want it stuck to that. And I'm just, you know, obviously trying to get out bubbles if I can. Yeah, that's copyrighted 1952. And now you can smell the old paper smell. <laughs> Not funny how you get it a little bit wet and then you can smell that. And I won't like fold it closed until it dries all the way because that's a real bugger one. Um, okay, this is far back as I'm gonna be able to go. Um, if you fold it too early when it's wet, it just is kind of a mess. The problem is I didn't get all this down here very well. And I really want to get, you know, all everywhere. So hopefully I don't have a lot of bubbles. Hope you guys can see. Okay, I'm trying to stay. I'm wondering if I should zoom out a little bit. Oops, wrong way. Sorry. There we go. I try to stay zoomed in because I know a lot of people have said, you know, they like it zoomed in so you can see what I'm doing. But I know when I do projects like this, it's really hard to, you know, tell what's going on there. And you can only see a portion of the screen. Got a lot more glue over here. The really big thing is trying not to get bubbles, and it can be very tricky. I'm not pushing super hard because um, I don't want to tear this old. I just want that smoothness. This is just one of my acrylic blocks. You could use those credit cards. You just don't want to dig at it or want anything that's maybe gonna like cut it at all. Okay. So now we're gonna attempt to fold these edges over. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get them done. But we're gonna have to snip the corners. And I always leave just a little bit of space there because if it is too much later, you can kind of snip it off. But if you get too close to the cardboard, 
or whatever you're covering it um you know then you can see the cardboard which isn't real fun so can you guys see yeah okay i'm just folding these over and i'm gonna glue them down too So truly just use what you have around. Like this is just gonna be one sewing pattern and then, you know, the cereal box. And that's what I'm gonna use for the whole cover, really. I mean, I'm gonna add other embellishments, trims and things, but like <clears throat> as far as just covering it, so there was a tear in the pattern right there. Um. It's just going to be the one little pouch of sewing pattern. We're using the pouch for the decoration on the outside. The instructions for this part and this part. It's just one sheet of instructions. And that's all we're using. I am going to use one little piece in the spine there. And that's because I'm going to cut out one of the pictures that's on the sewing pattern instructions just because it's a cute picture and I didn't want it to be in the spine where nobody was going to see it. So <clears throat> I will be using another little piece from another pattern but you wouldn't have to it would cover it completely. <laughs> it's the only thing with that old super old book pagey type stuff it does just tear sometimes very easily just get down there and stay down there yes I am talking to the paper spots here. And you don't want to rub that too much because when it's wet with that glue it will just tear right off. <clears throat> So now see there's that extra little bit right there and I can just snip it and it's not a big deal. But if you do it too short, you'd have the cardboard sticking out and that looks ugly. So you don't want to do that if you can help it. Okay, so now I have the other piece and see it's got this girl, which would be right in the spine. So I think I'm gonna just cut out this rectangle and I'm just gonna put another piece of paper under there. Um, I definitely could just use that piece, but... And then we won't need to go around the sides again because we've already done that. So I'll probably end up cutting um, around this a little bit. I'm just trying to see, is it... <clears throat> Yeah, I can pretty much go from there to there. And then just take a little off of each side. Okay, so I'm gonna move my glue out of the way. I'm gonna let this sort of rest for a minute and we're gonna get this cut. Oh, and my um, cereal box is, I like my journals to be nine by six, so it's nine by 12, I believe. Let me see. Oh, no, it's not because it's got the spine, duh. Um, so it's more like 14 and a half. But when it's closed, which I can't close it right now, but from here to here, it's six inches on either side and then whatever the spine is. So um, 
yeah, that's how I cut them. And it's nine inches tall. That way I can do paper that's eight and a half by 11 and I don't have to futz around with it a lot, you know, trying to get designs not chopped off and all that. <clears throat> Let that set for a second. We're gonna get this cut down. So I'm just gonna cut basically to the line on this. And as y'all know, these are not the straightest pieces of paper on the planet. If you've ever played with them, they, um, you know, it doesn't matter because they just fold them up and put them in there and. They're just for instructions. They aren't meant to be used the way we use them. So <clears throat> they are really great like that. This one's really off. I can do some more trimming with my scissors too. I just want to get. Like, I'm gonna even up the bottom edge a little bit because it looks all wonky. This is all wonky, too. <laughs> Whole thing's wonky, <clears throat> is what I'm saying. So, let's get this at nine. And if I have a little more, I'd rather have a little more than not enough. So, okay. Hoping that that will be fairly straight. <clears throat> Make sure we got the right direction going on. That's what's happening here. Some of that is just the wetness, but. close. It looks like it just needs a tiny little more fraction off the top. Take a tiny bit more off the side. be me. Um, I love the way it cuts old paper, but it also kind of folds it down here at the bottom. So sometimes it doesn't get like a, a straight line. And I think that's just guillotine cutters kind of do that. <clears throat> I don't know. I might just leave that girl in the middle. I hate to do that because I don't want to lose her, but um, I'm afraid it's going to look funny if I cut it out. I don't want to ruin it. <clears throat> it's just sad that she falls right in the spine of the book there. It's a bummer. It's still just a little bit. Sorry, I just am always scared of cutting too much off. Yeah, these old ones are so cool because they have the pictures. Now they seem kind of boring. <laughs> but I don't know, a lot of stuff seems like that. We dress more boring, everything. I don't know. I think. I just love all this old stuff. I love the drawings. They're just really cool. The illustrations on them. Okay, we're just gonna put on our glue and away we go.
And like I said, I'm gonna go over it with um, matte medium. But I really don't like to waste my matte medium underneath because, you know, it's quite a bit more expensive than tacky glue, <laughs> for example. So um, I save it just for the top. Let's try to get this on here <laughs> straight. Sometimes it helps to turn it so you're getting the shortest edge closest to you. to the right spot. Looks like it. Oh, did I get it? Okay. Yeah, that's such a bummer that she's right on that spine, but I don't know. I don't want to cut that out. I just think it'll end up looking weird. I mean, that's what I was going to do, but... Can't save everything, I guess. I've done um, the covers of the, you know, the little pouches, the sewing pattern pouches um, over a manila file folder, just cut them open and used, you know, the, the pattern itself to cover the whole outside of the manila folder. And those turn out really cute too. But this one was a little bit bigger with having the spine and everything, so I wasn't gonna work to do it that way. Some pretty good folds in this. I just want to make sure I'm getting it nice and flat. Got that one little edge that is a, this is a little bit long still. See, that's the only thing, once it, it lays down all the way flat, it's always a little bit longer, and I am horrible about making that happen very well. Okay, where's that block? You could use a brayer to do this. I mean, there's loads of things that you could use, and if you have a better way, then go ahead and do that. This is just my crazy way of doing things. Just grab whatever's closest and use it. I'm not pushing super hard because, again, I don't want to just tear this. And it's going to have to dry all the way. So we'll probably end up stopping there before doing the um, rest of the cover because I just don't, I want to be able to fold it to see where I want things. But this is a good start anyways. It's looking pretty good. Nicely covered. Okay, I know this is weird because the 
outside seems less exciting. Sorry, I don't know if my computer. But um, you'll be able to see, you know, all this on the inside of the journal. And this part is all going to get covered, which is where those girls on the far side would have been. So I didn't want them, you know, getting covered entirely. It's really hard to tell where the spine is. Because I think this pretty much covers the front. So we'll do some other things to it. We can add, we'll probably, I'll probably end up putting lace or fabric or something on the spine. I usually like to do that. Maybe I'll do a little like snippet. I've done that before. Snippet, um, section of like a sip, snippet roll to go on the spine. Those turn out nice. So I'll probably do that. And then I'll probably do some kind of, you know, collage type thing on here. And I'm not sure what at the moment. So <laughs> I'm going to stop there for today because like I said, this has got to dry. I can't fold it anymore today. So I hope this was helpful and I hope that you guys um, like doing this, you know, kind of step-by-step -step thing. So I will see you again tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye-bye now.